Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to start up a John Deere tractor and mow lawn, basically. And we'll cover a few safety features too. On this side of the tractor, there's a lever right here that raises and lowers the mow deck. I mowed along between two and three inches, so I'm going to mark right here. So I put it the same spot all the time. This is the brake. Also, you need to press this to start it because there's, there's a switch underneath the tractor here when you press this uh, brake on and it won't start if this is not all the way in and if you want to keep the brake on you can raise this up and it'll stay there and uh, it'll, it'll, it'll start i'll just put the key on right there and watch see it'll start so to engage the mower deck this is called the pto arm right here you put that up and then that engages the uh, mower deck so these john deere's got a safety feature here if you want to mow in reverse it will shut off so you got to press this button right here and then when you're going backwards, you can let go and it will keep on mowing. I got this uh, switch underneath here pulled apart and I got a jumper on it. So we don't have to press this button anymore on this, on, on this mower. I'll post a link in the description below how to jumper this out. There is a safety switch on the seat here. Now with this brake on energized here, I can get up and it won't shut the mower off. But with this PTO arm up, if I get up, it'll shut the mower off. If you want to get off your tractor, put the brake on, lock it in, shut that off. So I got a bungee cord here. So you can put that on your chute if you if you're mowing near trees, so the trees don't knock off your chute off. But anyway, I'll put that back there. So if your mower is running, this is forward and this is reverse. It's pretty simple. Now there's two things, if it doesn't work, the mower's running, you don't know what's going on, either you have your brake on, on this side, to get it release it, and if you press it again, it still won't go, well, there's one thing you forgot in the back here, this is a neutral rod, and that's going to be in, so that's two things, you got to check, make sure, that's uh, a neutral rod's in and it breaks off. Now, you notice, these, you can push back and forth on these, it's a little hard, but if you pull this out, and then they, they it's a neutral. So that uh, works really good. Now when you do that, always, always push that in. You'll be wondering why your John Deere is not working for about a minute or two till you figure that out. So anyway, that's where you put your gas. Your full tank of gas there. So I got new spark plugs, new oil filter and oil, and a new fuel filter on this one. This one here is your cover for your filter. Back these all off here. This comes off here. Make sure nothing goes in there because that goes directly to your motor. So you got to raise that up nice and easy. And then take your compressed air and blow that off. And there's another one right here. Blow that off too. Do that once a year. Now in the spring, it wouldn't hurt to drop a little tiny bit of fuel in there and put the cover back on and then the mower will start way easier. For the winter, I charge a battery every month because if you don't charge a battery, you lose 2% of your battery life each, each month that it's not running. Now on this side, this is where you check your oil. The oil's gotta be between these two hash marks. I always keep it near the top, all the way down like that, and then pull up and take a look. And then put it down and lock her back in position. I'm going to start it and uh, engage the mower deck and go back and forth and show you how it works. First thing you do, put this all the way in. You can either lock it in position, put the throttle all the way up, choke on. Done mowing, put this in your hose, snap that in there, lower the mower deck as low as it can go, put the water on, engage your mower deck, let it there sit there for at least one minute. And when you're done, shut it off, raise it up, shut your tractor off, and uh, check here, make sure it's all nice and clean underneath. 
Uh, you don't want any grass underneath there to build up because it won't mow your lawn right. It'll uh, rust you out your mower deck. And uh, make sure to clean out all the crap underneath here too. This will last you a long time. For the air pressure, there's uh, 8 to 9 PSI in the back and uh, 14 in the front. And also the instructions are right on here too if you want to read that. So if you turn your key all the way, that's a start position, let it go, run position. But if you back it off one more, boom, you put your lights on. Right there. They say, they got your hour meter right here. They say to change your oil every year or every 100 hours. So uh, they got one tractor of mine, only put like 12, 20 hours a year. So, uh, and I keep it in the heated garage. So I don't change it every year. I change it every two years. Now, if you're six foot tall or whatever, you can uh, raise this up and back your seat up a little bit. So you adjust your seat to the position you want. So this has got a cruise function here. Press the pedal forward, engage the cruise control, let go. Now to disengage this, all you gotta do is press the brake. Or you can press the gas pedal, it releases it also. So a condensed version here. Brake on, choke on, turn the key till it starts. Back off the throttle halfway, let it run for about a minute, minute and a half. Sit the deck, mower deck. Turn your PTO on, press forward and backwards, and start mowing. All right, I've got a lot of videos on these tractors. You can check it in, uh, in my uh, channel. So uh, if, you, uh, if you like this video, press thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.